All right, so let's just do a quick example here. So if I wanted to convert, for example, 2.64 liters per second into something like gallons per hour, how would we go about doing that? Well, first we need to know the conversion factors. Actually, even before that, when you really need to think about it, we say, well, we can convert liters into gallons because they're both volumes, so that makes sense. And we can convert seconds into hours because they are both time, so that obviously makes sense, right? So we wouldn't be able to convert this into uh, miles per hour, for example, because that doesn't make any sense. So we know that there are approximately 0 0.264 gallons for every liter. And we also know that obviously there's 60 seconds in a minute and there's 60 minutes in an hour, so therefore there are 3,600 seconds in an hour, right? 60 times 60. But we'll go through it. So what we do is we know that, let's see, so 2.64 liters per second so the idea here is to have the liters cancel out and what I want to be left with is gallons right so we would do that by multiplying um, 0 0.264 gallons for every liter. One liter. Right? And so if you if you uh, inspect this, you'll see that if we when we multiply this, the liters are going to cancel out, right? So this is going to cancel out with that. And then in the numerator, we're going to left be left with gallons, which is what we want. So now let's um, let's think about the well, actually we'll, we'll do it this way. We'll we'll write this out. We'll do it step by step because you can actually um, you know, simplify this and do about three or four different conversions into one long sort of step here. And then, but that can, you know, as you, but you really involved conversion, it can get really long and confusing. So we'll just do it step by step, right? So we just converted liters into gallons. So then, therefore, we know that. Um, so here we're going to have to multiply since there's 2.64 liters for every second. We're going to multiply. Uh, 2.64 with this 0 0.264, right, because they're both in the numerator. I should have actually wrote this uh, the other way, but... So we have 2.64 times 0.264, and that's 0 0.69696, or figure 697. So therefore, this would be 0. Point, so we have 0 0.697. Now we have gallons, remember, right, because uh, liters canceled out. 0 0.697 gallons per second. Right, so now we need this in hours. So what we do is we know the conversion factor for seconds to hours. We know that there are 3,600 seconds for every hour, right? So therefore, we want hours on the bottom. So what we do is, we know that hours has to end up on the bottom, hours, right? And obviously, um, in order for seconds to cancel out, we need to have seconds in the numerator here, right? So this would be uh, 3,600 seconds for every hour, right? So the seconds cancels out, and then therefore, since these, uh, these two numbers are both in the numerator, we multiply them, so then 3,600. So 3600 times 0.697 ends up being, uh, we get that there are, that this ends up being uh, 2509.2. Uh, we have gallons per hour, right? So therefore, we figure that, or well, we, we calculated that 2.64 liters per second is the same thing as 2,509.2 gallons per hour, right? And so, um, like I said, if you're new to this, do a lot of problems, even if they don't really, you know, it seems very arbitrary. After a while, after a lot of practice, this does become second nature. So... Thanks for watching. Hopefully this helped, and we will see you all in the next video.